there's been many challenges and, and you've also probably uh, heard about some of the reports that came out quite early on some of the shortcomings on the F-35. The F-35, like any other aircraft, have had what they call teething problems, so early on problems. Uh, but what's different here than on the F-16, for instance, is the openness to the program. Because on the F-16, we've had problems that was never talked about. It was never in the media because of, you know, we, we wanted to sh uh, uh, protect our interests. Uh, but on the F-35, because of the cost of the program, the openness in the U.S. Senate, uh, there's been a lot of focus on some of the early reports. Uh, while I've been here, uh, we've had uh, the first report that came out was where, where it said that the F-35 cannot fly BFM. Uh, but that was with an F-35 that don't have the capabilities that we have here. When I started fly the F-35 three and a half years ago, we had limitations to maximum three Gs where the F-16 has 9Gs. And then later on, the aircraft became 5Gs, 7Gs, and now we fly 9Gs. So it, the aircraft was still in development while critics in Norway and other places were just going straight down and saying, this is a fiasco and it's never gonna fly. But I, I assure you that, you know, just looking around here, there's 80 F-35 on this base. Norway has seven. Uh, you know, the U.S. has a bunch of others, there's other nations here, and we fly them every day. Norway's flown now more than 3,500 hours on the F-35, but still, there's more than 150,000 hours of experience. So, with everyone flying the aircraft, um, we get to share of the 150,000 hours of experience with only 3,500 hours flown. So, we learn much more, we learn quicker, and we the aircraft is constantly updated. Um, now we're getting a new software update. We've had hardware updates, and I think I'm on my seventh upgrade while I've been here. Uh, so the aircraft is following continuously and getting rid of the teething problems, getting rid of, uh, of the early um, faults that the aircraft has had. And like any fighter aircraft, we, uh, we do experience uh, some, um, uh, some smaller issues, and we are very uh, careful to take uh, uh, corrective uh, measures right away. So if we're in doubt, we'll go ahead and uh, land right after uh, if, if we have any indication or anything. Sometimes it's just a, a sensor uh, indicator failure or, or sometimes it might be something that's a little bit uh, more severe. But uh, we've, we've not had any issues with uh, the jets here that has been any problem for us uh, here at Luke.